Hello everyone, to all the around this world games. Today I'm gonna be doing this something different. I'm gonna be doing and I just thought this earlier today, but the Subnautica lore as I interpret it. Um now all the things I have are from other videos but are put in my own words and I can't really name them off, but yeah. And the very first thing I should do is get started on what Subnautica is for all those who don't know. Subnautica is a video game that takes place on a water planet after you, your ship the um, Aurora gets shot down by the quarantine enforcement platform, or as I call it, the precursor gun. It's way easier to say precursor gun, which you don't learn right away. In, in the early versions of the game, it said in the late 22nd century, I believe. Um. Even then, they had the story somewhat down because they said it was struck by a mysterious energy pulse. Which, that energy pulse came from the precursor gun, which wasn't in the game at the time. But, you go down, help the Emperor Leviathan, and I know I skipped a huge part of the story. And, after that, you can deactivate the precursor gun. Now, when you're at the Emperor Leviathan, after you help her out, um, you will have access to Enzyme 42, which allows you to be cured from the Karar, which means, um, you can deactivate previous curse again because infected individuals cannot deactivate it. And you build a rocket and leave. Now, just the precursors are an ancient race that a thousand years prior went to Planet Four Five Four Six B to um, research for a cure. Now, there is one thing I will mention. I will not be mentioning any lore that could be coming from below zero as fourth that game story isn't uh, complete and I know much like in below zero it said that Alan is the reason why the car went out but I'll do that on another day but um, so, there, well, let's start off with the main focus of the game, the Karar, which is the mysterious virus that you need to get a cure for to deactivate the previously said precursor gun. Um... It's said that's actually a multi-planetary, um, it's a multi-planetary virus, and it has killed a lot of different things, and the precursors trying to find a cure for it, but during their research, they um, took a dragon leviathan egg back to their research facility and the emperor leviathan rammed head first into it trying to take back died shortly after but not before causing a whole bunch of damage and causing what could have been 
the extinction of its of its race and everything else. Now, according to the lore, the dragon leviathan is an endangered species. And there's only three left, and you can actually experience all three of them on the map of Subnautica. Um, now, in the early game, or in the earlier versions, it said that and this was before Below Zero was ever planned. Even as the Arctic ELC, if anyone remembers that. But Subnautica Below, or but it was said that Subnautica, the place, the two kilometer by two kilometer crater that Subnautica takes place on is the only part the planet that's raised up and I could assume that any time in the like really far in the future that would probably come a huge landmass and stuff or something but that's just a theory for me a game theory <laughs> no I'm joking seriously um but in the final cutscene, you do see the um, Arctic and potentially the place where Below Zero takes place and stuff. So I think that is actually really cool. Now, everything that happened with the precursors happened thousands of years before or actually not thousands a thousand years before the events of Subnautica and now less about the precursors and more about something I actually haven't mentioned yet um the sunbeam not sunbeam the Degassi crew Throughout the game, you see multiple of their bases and stuff, and it is actually, it might actually be possible to beat the game without ever seeing one of them, but very unlikely. There's three, and there's a said fourth one where Bart spent the last minutes of his life. Bar, I, if I remember correctly, was the captain's son. Um, but yeah, they crashed on this planet ten years prior to the story, and they all uh, ceased to exist now. But thing about the fourth base, from what I've heard in lore, is that it. They think. Or people speculate that the fourth base is the one seen in the Subnautica cinematic trailer and that the Aurora landed right on top of it. There's also a theory that um there was a the home biome of where the rape of Leviathans would have lived would be ready to Aurora landed. But anyway, more about a secret mission. Now, in some parts of the game you can find PDAs and stuff I'm not sure where but you can find PDAs mentioning a secret mission. So one thing that is that your player character knows. I think it's I forget his name. Um is that they were creating a interstellar phase gate for quick travel. That's the thing, but the second 
mission that only the higher ups knew or some of them uh um would is that they would stop by plant knit 4546B to kind of see if there's any survivors left and as you all know that didn't happen they got shot by the precursor gun crashing and almost everyone died except for the person you play at So yeah, if you're wondering, I will eventually do a Let's Play on Subnautica. I don't really have the equipment to make good length videos while recording the TV. I mean, I have a capture card. I have a Chromebook. But you see, that's a, it's a Chromebook and I need PC with Windows 10. Or better. Um, but anyway, I'm sure there's a lot of the lore I missed. In fact, most of the videos uh, were like 20 minutes of the lore that I've seen. But please let me know of any lore that I've missed, or if you didn't understand any of the lore. But till next time, Out of This World Games maintains being in outer space because we're out of this world.